Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video, we're going to open up quite a few heavy fossil booster packs. I was surprised at how many of you uh, wanted to buy some of these. Some of you had them shipped sealed. Many of you had them um, to be opened up here on the channel. I'm also going to show you guys a few cards that I bought. And for those of you who were trying to bid on the Neo Destiny box, um, I did not realize that eBay had these new restrictions for over... 30 some thousand there was some kind of weird number there so for those of you who tried to put in a bid yeah I'm I'm sorry it, you have to have certain approvals now to to make that high of a bid which is probably a good thing but at the same time I wish it had been more apparent because I know two of you who are really legitimate buyers who were trying to make the purchase and um, got hit with that approval thing at the last second so it was too late so, and to me, that, that kind of skews the data on high-end items because, um, you know, not everyone who wants to bid you know, is able to bid. But, you know, sometimes that's how it goes as well. You have to, there's a lot of risk with that kind of money. So, I do apologize. I am trying to find out more information so that if something like this does come through again, um, I could be ahead of the game, even though I was on the the phone with merchant support yesterday and they said everything was good to go on my account so might have been just a little hiccup on their end i'm not really sure hopefully i can find out a little bit more information about it though but uh the, i did get a few things in that i purchased and i'm going to show those to you so first up we have this right here this is the world championship pack charizard this is the first edition version and I actually paid like 10 times less for this one than i did for the unlimited which sounds crazy but the unlimited is pretty tough to find uh, next up, we have the first edition Shining Darkness Charizard. I had the Unlimited already for this one, but did not have the first edition one it in auction. Got it for a decent price. Um, this one is the Unlimited Charizard Half Deck, the G Level X. See, it's got hollow all over it. I've seen several first edition versions, but uh, I hadn't been able to snag an Unlimited version yet until I won this one. And then last for the Charizard collection, we have a first edition E Starter Deck. And um, this is the number 12. There are three versions for the non hollow on the Japanese side. You've got the 12, the 71 first edition, and the 71 unlimited. I do not have the unlimited. I don't even have um, an ungraded version. So if you have that, I'm looking for it. Definitely would like to see it at the end. All right, next up, we have a nice little stack of packs that we're going to open up. And I've got some extra ones set here to the side just in case. Because remember, these were the lightest of all the heavies that I had. We went two for two yesterday, but I don't want to assume that. Uh, going forward because we have the ho the heavy hollow guarantee here so if you buy a heavy pack you're going to get a hollow as long as you open it up on the channel all right so the first one here is for jacob b he bought one heavy fossil booster bag and for those of you who bought the japanese fossil packs um, most of those were ship sealed i appreciate the business uh, we haven't sold too many of those. The Team Rocket ones have moved slowly, still have plenty of those left there. And the Fossil ones uh, finally started seeing some movement. Geodude, Gambler, Ammonite. Make sure I got some sleeves over here. We'll use the slightly larger ones. Grimer, Cloister, Magmar. I really like that Magmar. It's grown on me. I, used, I didn't used to like it, but it's definitely grown on me. Slowbro, Slowpoke. Oh, another Aerodactyl. So that was that's two of those that we've seen. The last video we saw an Aerodactyl and a Lapras. This one seems to be uh, a little bit better. I do see some slight print lines on the left side, but nothing too crazy. Back side looks pretty nice. Maybe a little white dot right there. But centering uh, seems a little bit better. It's if I had to say it was it's not perfect. It's slightly to the left, but overall still really nice. And on the front side, you can't really tell any difference on the centering. So not too bad of a pull there, Mr. Jacob. You put your card in the holder right there. Then I'll have these set aside. Pack number two. This one is Dan C, and he actually bought two heavy fossil booster packs. So we'll, it looks like we've got two Aerodactyl covers. Maybe we'll swap that out. Let me, uh, we'll do that one, but I'll just so that he has a, a different one. We'll exactly out of here. So we'll put this one 
back in the still to be open pile. All right, so we have Grimer, Ammonite. These almost seem a little bit darker. I don't know if you guys can see that on your side or not. Cloister, Magmar, and Ghastly. Krabby, again, no Krabby error there. Energy Search, Ekans. Oh, Hypno. Now, Hypno, definitely not one of your more expensive ones, but then again, you know, if you're outside of Dragonite, Moltres, Lapras, those in the PSA 10, um, Zapdos is kind of up there. Articuno is good too. Um, the Fossil one, the Fossil Limited is not super expensive. I mean, as you can tell, this is a heavy Watsy pack and it's only hitting the $300 mark or $275 if you're a Charizard member. But, the good thing about Hypno is usually it's a little bit easier to grade. I'm not seeing anything in the hollow full that would take away from it. Maybe the slight silvering on the top and on the right side. The back side. The corners look pretty good. I'm trying to see if that's a white dot. I don't think it is. A little bit off on the centering. I, I would put this at a solid 9 just because of the silvering. And it's slightly off on the centering on the back, but the centering on the back side doesn't normally matter as much as it does on the front. I mean, it could get the 10. Put this one in. It's semi rigid. And I also have some Palms Off gaming ones that are for sale now in my eBay store. I think it's like for a count of 200, it's $26.99, but it, in, that includes free shipping. I know a lot of you have been buying the CGC ones, CGC ones from me, and I think I was selling twelve ninety. I was selling those at twelve ninety nine with free shipping for fifty of them. So if you were wanting to buy multiple, this would definitely be a better deal. It's about half the price. All right, so we have Psyduck, Energy Search, Horsey. Oh, nice! Got the Golem. Always love seeing the Golem. Cedra and Tentacruel, Slowpoke. Grimer, Tentacool, Recycle. Oh, you got a Zapdos. Oh, these are the corrected ones. Now, usually you get excited over errors, but if you look right here, um, in the entire print run for first edition, there is an evolution box imprint over the the picture where the hollow full is not hollow. And then with the unlimited run, you actually had both a corrected and a non-corrected version. And the usually, from what I found, the non-corrected or the one that's corrected, this version right here is a little bit more rare. So that's pretty cool. And I don't really see any. Well, maybe one print line there at its foot. Doesn't go all the way through. Just a little piece of it. Centering's off a little bit, but the good thing about lightning type Pokemon, it um, it doesn't detract as much because. It, the yellow and the yellow, it kind of blurs it just a little bit. It does have a white dot, or um, a white dot or a printing dot? What is it? Oh, that might be a little cut. It's either a white dot or part of the print dot circle. But you can see the centering's off on this one, so unfortunately that would not get the 10 anyways. But it's cool that you have the, uh, the corrected Zapdos. It's a pretty good pull. All right, so let me put these here for Mr. Dan. Thank you for your business. All right, next up we have John. I think he added, did he add a, maybe I was thinking somebody else that added a shout out. He bought two packs as well. So let's see what John is going for. There's a Lapras pack here. See, this again, this is a different print run, I think, from that first one, or the last ones that we just had, because these do not seem as dark. Zubat, Kabuto, got the Slowpoke, Arbok, I think that's our first Arbok, our third Magmar. We've seen at least a couple Slowbro, the Uncommon, I mean, these look a little bit darker, can you see how, like, much darker the, the, the slow bro is compared to the slow poke and then even the purple on the card itself seems to stand out a little bit more which I realize on the camera sometimes you guys can't see that because I've looked back through some videos before and I'm like man I can't see I can't even see what I'm talking about but in person a lot of times these uh, differences do stick out a little bit more ooh a Hitmonlee this is the one fossil hollow that I still need 
and then he does have a little print line coming out of his foot there. But I've got the entire first edition, but I do not have the unlimited Hitmonlee. And the only reason I don't is because it's not because it's not available. It's just really expensive. I haven't seen one go in auction in a while. The last one that started off in auction was ended early. But I think the guy he was wanting like five grand or something for his unlimited Hitmonlee, which to me is just kind of crazy. Overall, not bad. I used to like pulling the Hitmonlee card. Hitmonchan from base set was so common, even though that was the card that you wanted in your deck. Hitmonlee was still pretty cool. I mean, he had 10 less HP, and he still had a 3 energy attack, and it did 50 damage instead of the 40, but he didn't have that 20, you know, with the jab, with the single fighting energy that Hitmonchan had, so he wasn't quite as playable. I know these stats seem you know, super low now, but back in the day, you know, 50 damage was a lot for an attack, especially if it was just three energy. He had Dugong, he had something like that, and there was a couple other cards. Alright, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Recycle, Shelter, got the Kingler, there's another Slowbro, Arbok, Zubat, Kabuto, Tentacool, ah, Kabutops! Now every time I see a Kabutops, I think about the comparison between Kabutops and Amistar and how uh, Kabutops always gets the hollow, but Amistar basically does not. The, I mean, you, it happened in Fossil, it happened uh, with the Crystals, it happened in Neo Discovery. Even ha I think it happened in regular Sky Ridge too with the Kabutops. I feel like I'm seeing some slight print lines on the left side, but it seems to be getting lost in like the fiery background. In the centering, you see it's off a little bit. You see a few white dots here. Those most likely will flake off. You can see one of them did as soon as I touched it. That one probably would too. Very cool. You got two fighting type Pokemon. The Kabutops and Hitmon Lee. Alright, so thank you John for your business. Your business. All right, next up we have Corey G, and he has a shout out. He wanted me to sign the outer holder, which I will do that. I'll do that after. TCA Gaming, great work. Keep up the good or great content. Keep up the good work. Want to buy this pack as a celebration for my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Corey. I hope that uh, we get you the Dragonite. That's what, that's what I want to get you. I haven't seen one of those yet. Dragonite, Gengar, Articuno, those are usually the, or typically the favorite three that people want to pull. Energy Search, Kabuto, another Krabby, no scratch error on it, Tentacool, Weezing. He looks uh, not too purple, huh? See how light that purple is? I wonder if there's a little bit of color missing in that. You see it? Hmm. I might uh, actually set that to the side and look at another. Psychic type card. Horsey. Oh, another Kabutops. <laughs> oh, and you had the... Oh, man. Yeah, you could definitely see it. These almost like have this kind of like an albino type look to it. I'm going to compare those here in a minute. All right, so you've got a Kabutops. Seen uh, two Aerodactyls, two Kabutops. That hollow foil looks pretty clean. Maybe a line right there. And I'm really uh, stretching my eyeballs to see that though. The edges look pretty nice. Those are very clean Kabutops you have there. But I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of uh, looking at those uncommons that you had because they look in a way like they're uh, like they're missing some kind of color or ink. I don't know if you guys can tell it, but they're lighter, almost more like a yellowy. You could you could tell it first with the wheezing because he's not super purple there and then the actual psychic energy itself it's looking like it has a blue hue to it and then you can see it some in the golem as well I wonder if it's a uh, light on the red color oh, that's really cool I hope that uh, you can see it too when you get your, uh, your pack in Mr. Cory and again happy birthday you got yourself an original Kabutops All right, next up we have Jacob. And he, again, all of these are fossil heavy packs. 
Can you please shout out my girlfriend, Allie Jean? Also, please shout out my friends, Ian and John, for getting me into Pokemon cards. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, you've got a cool guy. You bought a really good pack. Miss uh, Allie Jean. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Probably did it. And then uh, Ian and John. Hope you're watching. Maybe he'll get the Dragonite. See if we're going to have some more of those albino uncommons again. They're not really albino. It's just, and you can tell it was light on one of the ink colors. It wasn't anything too crazy. Yeah, you've got the strong colors again. Let me, uh, well, I don't want to mix cards, but you can see how much stronger the purple is on this. Mysterious Fossil, Ekans, Cloyster, Tentacruel, Grimer, Shelter, Krabby, No Slash Error, Geodude, Oh, another Zapdos, and again, it's the corrected one. Every time I see one of these fossil hollows, I'm just checking to make sure there's no galaxy foil going on there, which would be super cool, but definitely don't see it. Now, this one seems to have a really nice border. Super clean hollow. I'm not seeing any silvering around the edges. Backside again. Wow, this is a super clean card. I wonder if as we get heavier, these packs will be even more clean. The only thing I think would keep this from getting a 10 is the back centering. Really great condition card there. Congrats, Jacob. Put that one here. We'll get these shipped out tomorrow morning. And now, this is the last opening. We've got two packs for M. Demir. I think his friend helped him buy these. He had a, he was wanting to buy them, but uh, right now, if you go on my website, PayPal is the only method I accept. However, if you want to pay with like a credit card or something like that, just log into your PayPal account and add to your wallet, one of your credit cards or debit cards or whatever, and then when you go to pay with PayPal, you select instead of PayPal balance, you select that credit card or whichever card it was that you wanted to pay with. Zubat, Ekans, Horsey. Oh yeah, lots of color on that Magmar. Super strong. Amastar and Cedra. Gambler. Recycle. Tentacle. Are we going to see a Dragonite, Articuno, or Gengar? Oh, there it is. Got the Dragonite. That's the pull you want. Oh, yeah. Man, that is in great condition. If there's a print line in there, it's not very obvious. I don't see silvering around the edges either. Centering looks pretty dang good. And I don't see any white dots. Maybe a tiny one down here. But then again, it doesn't even really look like one. Oh, that's that's so. F I mean, I don't know how you get much of a better pull out of fossil than that. I mean, that's a dragonite, and it looks to be in really nice shape. Congrats on that. You still have one more pack. How do you top that? How do you top that? Slowpoke, Grimer, Ammonite, Arbok. You got a golem. Maybe you get a golem and a dragonite and a Mr. Fuji all in the same pack. Oh, look, you get a gambler with a print dot. See that? Geodude. Krabby. No scratch error. Energy search. And. Oh, you go from the best to the worst. <laughs> a muck. <laughs> and not only that, the muck isn't even centered well. So the dragonite was definitely the better pull. This muck looks to have a print line, maybe? Actually, I'm not even sure that's a print line. Almost looks like a little ink streak. But the centering is definitely off. Let's look at the back. Centering carried over to the back side. You can see how far it is on this one. So if you like error cards, you got yourself a printing dot on one of your cards, and then you have a muck that is OC. So that's not too bad. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, for those of you who, who bought in on the packs, I'll have these shipped out to you right away. If you're interested, I still have plenty more of the Fossil Heavy Booster packs. Um, I should have those 
you know, for a little bit. And we still have other packs that are available too, so feel free to reach out. Uh, and as, as always, thank you for watching.